James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, JPL has just announced that we have a 60-foot space rock, give or take. We'll see what the condition code is. Inbound for a very close approach flying between Earth and the Moon on November 30th. And we'll see what that looks like right here. You can see it's on a huge inclination, which is never good. That's 2025 WM4. We'll bring this up to the 30th. And you can see that those dots are one and the same. We'll bring it back a couple days so y'all can see them split. There's Earth in the blue orbit. And here's 2024 WM4. It's going to fly again between Earth and the Moon on the 30th of November right here. Today is the 27th, so we have a couple of days to think about this one. I think it's about 60 feet in diameter. It is coming at about 14 kilometers per second, which is a good, fast speed. And it's at a heck of an inclination as well. So this could be a small problem for us, depending on uh, how close to Earth it gets and if it actually hits our atmosphere. Looking at our orbit parameters, you can see that this was released today, November 27th, just released. Total observations, 30. That arc span just two days. First seen on the 25th, they already thrown it out there with a condition code of 7. 9 meaning they don't know how big it is and where it's headed at all. 0 meaning they're highly certain as to how large it is and where it's headed. Obviously 7 is much closer to 9 than 0. So that's a high condition code which is bad. This was first seen by our automatic AI software here. And again, on the 25th, reported today. Now, here's our close approach data for November 30th down here. You can see that it makes its close approach towards our moon at 1301. And that's going to be a very, very close point. Zero, 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 seven. Whereas in... We're only 0 0.001 astronomical units from Earth. So this does fly right between Earth and the Moon. They have it actually ended up flying closer to the Moon based on this information. You can see that the velocities are right around 14 or 15, as I told you. 14.1 right here. 14.12. That's your velocity as it flies by Earth, 14.12 kilometers per second, 14.01 kilometers per second. That's your average in there. Again, this looks like it's going to come much closer to the moon than Earth when it does fly by. 60 foot space rock. Looks like it will miss us. And based on the radius of Earth, Looks like it'll miss us by about 88,000 miles. It's going to make a really close shave on the moon and very well might hit the moon. So there you have it. We have our close approach on November 30th, 2025. Extremely close to the moon, flying between the moon and Earth, 2025. WM4 just announced today, 14 kilometers per second heavy inclination and a rock that they think is about 60 feet in diameter with a condition code of seven and that pretty well summarizes it keep your eyes to the skies we've seen that huge uptick in space rocks being reported over the last 20 years more so every year are being reported god bless Please share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World. Please give us a thumbs up if you can to help push our video out 
into a bigger audience. And happy Thanksgiving to all. God bless.